Organic Vapor Jet Printing, or OVJP for short, is our novel, maskless, solventless, organic thin film deposition technology, which allows panel makers to combine the benefits of using small molecule OLED materials, the industry's trusted standard, with a printing process that enables cost-effective, high-performance, large area side-by-side -side RGB patterning. Its advantage over current technologies include the elimination of fine metal masks, patterning without a liquid solution, and use of commercial, state-of-the-art evaporable materials. Let me show you how it works. First, we take UDC's state-of-the-art phosphorescent emissive materials and install them in a source that can be heated and sealed in a chamber with an inner carrier gas flowing through it. The carrier gas flows over the surface of the heated material and transport the OLED molecules to the printhead. The poster shows a single source connected to the printhead, but we're not limited to one. Multiple sources can be connected to a printhead to print multi-component films. The printhead is in a process chamber along with the substrate, which moves across the printhead. The head contains a number of jet arrays spaced at a distance equal to the pixel spacing on the display. The substrate moves across the jet arrays and lines are printed on the substrate. We call this direct jet printing. The design of the jet head eliminates crosstalk between pixels. The direct jet process is extremely clean. By that, I mean that all of the organic material is either deposited on the surface of the substrate or removed by the jet head. There's no deposition on the walls of the chamber or the internal fixturing. Because this is such a clean process, multiple jet arrays can be placed in the same process chamber to print different materials or different colors. The poster illustrates schematically how this would work. Red, green, and blue materials are printed sequentially on the moving substrate in one process chamber. The photos on the right depict an artist's conception of how a commercial production scale system might look. The top photo is an overview of a production system. It includes a mannequin to show the scale of such a system. The modular nature of the direct jet process allows for scalability to Gen 10 and larger glass size. The middle photo shows the jetting process. Red, green, and blue lines are printed simultaneously on the substrate. The magnified view in the bottom photo shows the jets impinging on the substrate. You might have noticed that the jets are printed in an upward direction in this view. An advantage of OVJP is that it can be done with the glass face up, as in the poster description, face down, as in the artist's rendering, or with the substrate vertical. Now let's go into the lab and show you how it's done here at UDC. Hi, Greg. Hey, Bill. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Can, can you show us the OVJP prototype tool? Sure. So we start with the carrier gas control using mass flow controllers to meter the gas to the heated sources. In our prototype system, the sources are in the vacuum chamber and are not visible from outside the process chamber. This chamber is equipped with two print heads, each with four sources. Let's take a walk around back and I'll show you how we control the temperature. Okay, great. Here you can see the temperature controllers and the power supplies that control the heat to the sources and the jet heads. As I said before, each, each print head has four individual sources, but in principle we could have as many sources as we need to make more complex mixtures of materials. You might be able to tell from the location of the gas controls that our system is inverted compared to the poster, and we are printing in the upward direction with the substrate facing down. Jet heads are in the lower section of the chamber, and the substrate is in the upper portion. One of the key benefits of OVJP is that it is orientation independent. We can print with the substrate face up, face down, or even vertical. Over here, I can show you the typical results of an OVJP print. Great. This is a substrate printed in our OVJP system using state-of-the-art phosphorescent green emitter material. From far away, the printed area looks like two big pixels. Upon closer examination, you can clearly see the lines produced by rastering the jet head over the substrate in individual pixels. We believe that this technique will be disruptive technology for the manufacture of large area OLED displays. Hi, Bill. We've just seen the prototype tool in the lab, and it's produced some pretty impressive results. What do you think about the future of OVJP? I think the future is very bright for OVJP. 
It enables a novel manufacturing process for RGB side-by-side -side dry printing that is cost-effective and high throughput. And we look forward to working with our customers to scale up the technology platform. Bill, I agree. The future of OVJP is very bright.